Morning. I'm a friend of Harry Lux. He tells me you're broke. Nah. I'm doing this because I'm an eccentric millionaire. There's a job for six men, watching over a village south of the border. How big's the opposition? Thirty guns. I admire your notion of fair odds, mister. Welcome to Haiku Reviews with Dr. Ted. The Magnificent Seven, 1960, released by United Artists. So the theme song is pretty iconic. Elmer Bernstein, uh, no relation to the Bears, wrote the music. What is not so well known is that Stephen Sondheim wrote lyrics for the opening music. He and Bernstein were really excited not only to have the music cover the opening credits, but also in an exercise in metatextuality. The lyrics were the opening credits. My stepfather was on the board of the Boston Symphony when he was alive, and for some years after he died as well, like that collection of stiffs could tell. And he, while he was alive, asked John Williams to get me the lyrics. John Williams did. Now I have them. It was supposed to be sung by Al Jolson, but they discovered that he died in 1950, so they had Bobby Darin sing them. The Magnificent Seven, directed by John Sturges, starring Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, Robert Vaughn, Brad Dexter, James Coburn, Horace Bull Colts, and Eli Wallach as the villain. There, for the first time in 60 years. You can hear hints of Sweeney Todd in there. Anyway, it was never played publicly until this video. It seems Eli Wallach didn't like it. And look what happened to him. He died. Anyway. Seven gunmen go to Mexico to defend a town from bandits. It is possible to get what you want and still end up with nothing. There's nothing wrong with this movie. It is one of the best ever. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe.